Hi everyone. So here I am. I've completed four weeks of intermittent fasting and walking 10 miles every day and I feel amazing. I truly recommend it to everyone. So before I give you more details, take a look. I'm standing in front of the Royal Arbroath Hall here in London. It's a beautiful sunny Sunday, so I'm really lucky too. So here goes. Four weeks, what I have to tell you after four weeks of intermittent fasting and walking 10 miles a day. As I mentioned, I was doing intermittent fasting. I ate two meals a day. One was breakfast, second was lunch, and then I ate nothing till the following morning at lunchtime. And this is what I have to tell you after four weeks. I feel mentally great and really happy. Um, I, uh, so here, so I got in one of those machines which tells you, you know, like about your body, your muscle mass, body fat, subcutaneous fat. So I don't know how much I believe those machines, but if you believe the machine, it said that uh, my subcutaneous fat is down. So subcutaneous fat, I don't know about the machine, but I'll tell you this. When I put my ring on my finger, it slips on and off more easily. So I guess there's less fat on my finger. I know that for a fact. I don't know about the machine. Oh, and then I have to tell you, if you feel, what happens is, back to how I stuck to it. I forgot to get fair. How I was able to stick to this is if you feel, if you're sitting at home, you're not doing anything, you'll tend to feel tired and hungry. What do you do when you feel tired and hungry? I would recommend get out and go for a walk. As soon as I started walking, I felt not hungry. The hunger went away. And mentally, I felt much better uh, and full of energy. So when you get, so that's my advice. If you feel hungry or bored, go out for a walk. It's a remedy for both. And even when it rains, and I did this, so I'm not being a hypocrite, I walk two hours in the rain continuously. Even when it rains, wrap up warm and go out for a walk. Back to the results. So apparently, according to the machine, my skeletal mass is up, but my mes muscle mass is down. I don't know what that means. I'm just telling you I feel great. And I was really surprised. This morning, I got on the scale. I've been using the same scale and I weighed 53.00 kilograms so I've definitely lost over a kilo because when I started I was 54 point something I didn't used to weigh myself regularly so I think that sums up uh, the first four weeks I'm gonna keep doing this because it makes me feel good I hope you find ways to feel good and I'll be back next week for week five and as always, before I forget, any questions or comments, please write them below and I'm happy to answer. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.